Hi everyone, it's Helen here and thank you for joining me for day four on my 12 days of Christmas. Now today we're going to be making these lovely pillow box bag thingies. I haven't really got a name for them yet, I'm sure I'll think of one. So in here we have some candy canes and a little chocolate lolly. I don't know if I'll be able to get one out just to show you. Yeah, you can get these pretty much anywhere, even like the big ones will fit in here too. So let's put everything back and let's move on to showing you the papers that I've used. It's a paper collection by Hell's Couple Ditch and I've also used the coordinating um, decoupage pad that goes with it. So these are the decoupage um, things that go on the, the toppers that go on the top. So let's push these aside and I'll grab the papers. So it's by a collection by hell's couple ditch and i'll make sure i'll get as many links down below as possible for you and all the dimensions and extra photographs will be on my blog as well so the link will be down below for there so this one's called wonderland it's a 12 by 12 pad and it does come in other sizes as well so you get some um plain papers as well as some glitter designs as well so i do go into closer detail on this pad um in my trim craft haul that will be on my youtube channel so today we're going to be using this snow scene here so cut your paper down to six inches by six inches and then we're going to be using the pillow punch board by we are memory keepers So this is the punch board, it comes with its own bone folder as well. It takes a little bit of practice, you um, need a couple of goes just to get the knack of it. It took me a couple of goes but then once I would kind of mastered it I was, I was happy with the results. So there's a line just here and we line that up just so that it's just covering it. And then we punch and we score around the curve and then there's a line that goes downwards so don't worry if it it's it's too long it won't be once we turn it round so then we move it along this should fit snugly here punch again score round on the curve go down try not to fall off the end there because you might poke a hole so move it along one more time line everything up it does want to go wonky so if you use this as your guideline try and get this these two lines as straight as possible so punch that down and there we go that's the top half now on the other side down here we're going to turn it over and we're not going to do the curve because what we've done here is we have an oval punch here and there's no closing it so it's just like a little pouch like a bag actually these would be perfect for hanging on on a branch on your Christmas tree okay so back to this line this up again with this green line here all we do is punch move it along punch it again and then lining these up here so that I think the words perpendicular it down again and that's everything we need to do with this board okay so I like to use my stamping up bone folder for creasing so crease all of your score lines and one other thing we need to do is before we put this together and put it through we need to also put it through our die cutting machine unless you have an oval punch but we're going to be using some dies so I like to just it it's just ripped there what I like to do is just take my sniz snizzers, scissors and snip just a tiny tiny bit just there and then that should give it the gap it needs to close properly when it folds in on itself 
So we need to just go around here. I'm going to snip this off. I like a very sharp angle. So I'm just snipping down and then like that. So I'm going right down into the curve and then down. We'll do the same on this side. There we go. Move those aside. Okay, so before we get the die cutting out, we're going to stick this down. I'm just going to quickly use some Tombow. I'm not going too near the edge here. I don't want it to ooze out the side and stick the bag together from the inside. Pop that down and then I'm going to leave it a few moments before I put it through the die cutting machine because it's going to get squished and squashed and if the glue is still wet it's just going to go out the sides. So I'm going to leave that there for a few moments while I get my die cutting machine ready and the dies. Okay, so I just paused the video there, so hopefully now it's pretty much dry. Okay, so these are my oval dies. These are by Tonic, and they're scalloped and straight as well, so I'll make sure the link's down below for those. So I'm going to use the one that measures one and five-eighths of an inch. Just walling up my big shot now. Okay, so make sure you get the right side. So I've got my curvy lines at the bottom and the top of the pouch at the top. Now I would like a nice um, thick handle there. On this one, I didn't leave much of a gap and it's a bit too thin. I just don't want it to break. So we're going to leave a thicker area there. So pop that on. I'm using my magnetic platform here. You can get these from Stampin' Up! or Amazon. There we go, that's that handle done. Now we can assemble this together and on our die cuts. So we've got our bag here, so this bit should be quite easy. Okay, so this is the back of our bag, this is where the seam is. So we want this one to be the last flap that goes in, so press this one in like that. There's no need to do a thumb hole, you do get a thumb hole punch. On here, the top side will do a little thumb hole for you. But we don't need that because we want it to just be the bottom of the bag. We won't be opening and closing that. So yeah, you can make loads of these up um, in advance and just have them all flat and, and wait, waiting ready to go. So there we go. I've got my candy canes ready. I've used most of them. The two are broken. So I've got a choice here. I could eat them or I can try and make a recipe I think I'm going to put these in a recipe for something because I am hoping to do some quick recipes for my channel in December. So stick around for those. So we've got those and I haven't got any more lollies left. Mm, they're only a pack of four and I need to go shopping and buy some more. So I'm just going to steal one from this pocket. So those are going to be my goodies. So get our die cuts ready. So I'm going to use a snowman and these are all my little bits for sticking that together my sentiment and a two inch mirror card um, in silver there I just punched that out so where's the pad here's the pad it's by the same collection Wonderland and it's a great little decoupage pad long gone are the days where you have to cut them out yourself I remember doing that when I was smaller cutting everything out it took ages so that you get, I think it's three pages for each design. So I haven't taken the background. I can I can use these as spares for other things as well. So there's plenty of options there. Okay, so I've got everything ready and I've used some sticks to double-sided foam pads. 
and anything else. Grab my Tombow. This does take a little longer to dry because it's going to be going on a shiny surface. So pop that down. And then because this is curved, I'm just going to put a line of glue vertically. Oop, there you go, it's moving about. Just vertically down there. Because I don't want the, the die cut to actually curve around with it, I just want it to be stuck on there nicely. Pop that on, stuck my finger in it. Get rid of some of that glue. I had a fight with my printer this morning, changing the ink. I won. It tried to get me, but I won ultimately. I now have some nice new inks. Okay, you can stick that on. the candy canes. This is coming off. Hang on, let's stick that back on. So I'm going to leave that just to set, just for a few moments. I'll show you the ribbons I'm going to use. These are by Dovecraft. And this one says Happy Christmas. And this one's a lovely red and white stripe. So let's cut those. You can use as many ribbons as you want. That might need a little longer to dry. Let's put that in. So if you want to make lots of these, I would do all of your cutting out at the same time and just make a big assembly line. And you'll be able to get loads done that way instead of doing one at a time. Just tying a double knot on there. Add the next ribbon. This also um, anchors in your treats as well. This would actually make a really good present if you stick in a few of these candy canes and a little um, sachet of hot chocolate. Maybe even a couple of marshmallows as well. That would look really nice. It's a nice little gift there. And then you could pop it into a cup. And there, there you go, and that's a little present there, all ready to go. Let's get this last little bit. I can't get that through. Nope. You see, the problem is you don't want to waste loads of ribbon by making it too long, but then if you make it too short, you can't tie it. There we go. It's frayed slightly, so I'm just going to trim that off. There we go, turn that round, see if we can get it to turn round. I'm going to trim this side as well, just so it doesn't look too lopsided. And there we go. That's day, uh, what day are we on? Day four. That's day four done. Some lovely Christmas treats there. Look at all those. Okay, so pop along to my website. The link will be down below all the dimensions i'll try and put in as many links down below in the description box for you so you can pop along and find all the um not ingredients it's not a cooking channel <laughs> materials so they'll be down below as well and i'll see you for day five